X-rays confirm the fluid that almost suffocated her to death was from pulmonary edema. Means the problem's either in her heart or lungs. Talk screen's clean for everything except the alcohol, and her BAC was barely 0.05. I mean, she had, only had one or two drinks, tops. And there's no sign of trauma. And you know? Because if there was, Cuddy would have needed me to take the case. How do you know Cuddy? Foreman's the only one with the balls to take a case without checking with me, and he's still working on breakfast. Which means that the 18, no, 17-year-old honor student. Cuddy has a soft spot for smart girls, and they don't start drinking until second semester senior year. So either you think that smart women look out for each other, which means you're an idiot, or you think Cuddy's not smart, which means, I guess, it's the same both ways. Then how did you? Picture fell out of the file. She looks smart. Where's Taub? You don't already know? Yeah. He's at home in a fight with his wife. I'm just curious what he wanted me to know. This car has a flat tire. He's waiting for a tow truck. What about rising blood pressure from binge drinking? It could set off a hypertensive crisis, cause heart failure. Two drinks is hardly a binge. Certainly not if you're an Aussie. But when an American schoolgirl has two drinks before 10 a.m., it's pretty sure a bet that the plan is to have a lot more. Probably wasn't the first time she had that plan. We'll get a C13 pyruvate MRI to check for cardiac lactic acid levels. Someone call Taub. Tell him to cut the ball and chain on his own time. Sorry, I'm late. Nick loves you. House doesn't believe you got a flat tire. What does he think I was doing? Fighting with the wife. Why would I lie about that? She wants me to do yoga. We need thinner cuts. When you and Cameron had disagreements... I'm probably not the best guy to go to for marital advice. Sorry. It's just... Let's do the much of Ralph. All right. I get the message. No. No, I'm serious. What is that? Could be a fungus. ER drew blood cultures. All negative. No parasites, no fungus. Could be fastidious enteric bacteria. You think she's been eating your wife's cooking? Hey, I'm on your side, man. I am not fighting with my wife. I had a flat tire. It's in my trunk. You can go look at it if you want. Don't need to. Face tells me you're bluffing. Not yours. Chase's. If she was infected through the intestinal tract, she'd have intestinal symptoms. There are other ways to get enteric bacteria into the bloodstream. She's not an intravenous drug user, she has no tattoos, and she doesn't have any scars that would indicate she's a cutter. Transesophageal echo could give us a better idea of what we're looking at. If that valve is about to dehiss, echo could trigger a heart attack. So come up with a better idea, or have a crash cart ready. Why are you lying to house? Chase told me, what's the big deal? Maybe we can talk about this another time, or never. I really don't think she's gonna tell anyone. If I knew we were fighting, he's gonna wanna know what about. So tell him, or tell him it's none of his business. This is easier. Really? Because it seems much harder. What do I know? I'm not a guy. Yes, if only I could be as open about my emotional life as you are. It's not about the yoga. Really, I thought it was since we spent an hour talking about yoga, but what do I know? I'm not a girl. My guess is she thinks you don't want to spend time with her because you're spending it with someone else. If she thinks I'm cheating, she would ask. Because you'd tell the truth. I'm not seeing anyone else. Doesn't matter. You have a history, and that's not her fault. So what am I supposed to do? I can't prove a negative. That is a problem. There's the heart. Valves look fine, no vegetations, no myxomatous changes. Can you give her a little more sedative? Oh! She's dissecting. Oh. She's rupturing. Get the scope out. Oh. This doesn't make sense. Her BP is normal and her heart rate was controlled. We'll figure it out later. We've only got about 30 seconds to get her open. No leakage from cannulation site. Nice. Let's see if she'll start up. Cardiac paddle. Charging. And go. Come on. Again. Go. Pushing five cc's adrenaline. 
Zephyr again. No. It's not working. Clear. Clear. Normal sinus rhythm. Thank God. TEE and intraoperative visualization showed no vegetation on the valves, no structural abnormalities. The dissection means we were wrong about alcohol causing a hypertensive crisis. And by we, you mean you? Yeah, you were the one who didn't have any better ideas. It's not my fault. I was busy trying to judge Taub. Since we already ruled out trauma, the dissection's probably a genetic defect. We're running the test. She's not marfanoid. What about an allergy? A severe enough one could set off a systemic immune reaction, cause fluid in the lungs, and inflammation that could weaken the aorta. If it was an allergy, she'd be getting better in the hospital, not worse. Unless it was inside her. Meaning? You want my sperm? We think a severe allergic reaction could be causing systemic breakdown. To my son's sperm? Actually, his semen is more likely the problem which I realize is not what you were reacting to. When's the last time the two of you had unprotected sex? Never. I use a condom. You always use a condom for everything? Well, for most everything. When? The night before she collapsed. I'm placing a drop of Nick's semen protein onto the skin. Then I'll braid it with a needle, check for a rash in an hour or so. Mom, come on. We've been dating for three years. Like, I'm not mad, sweetheart. I'm just confused. A systemic reaction can be triggered by the protein in semen. In most cases, the reaction is fairly minor. But in rare cases, repeat exposure can trigger a hypersensitivity response. Repeat exposure? I know, I know, three years. Is this supposed to hurt? The reaction should take longer than... No, it's not that. Ow. Gabby, what's wrong? My stomach. Oh. Oh. Blood in the urine. Uh. Oh. 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 It's taking a really long time. Just hang in there and try not to talk unless you really have to. It can affect the images. What was that? Hello, are you still there? I think there's something wrong with the machine. It's not the machine. It's an earthquake. Hold on, we'll get you out. Get me out now. Black hole. She's hallucinating. I certainly hope so. 